Good morning po, everyone. Can we start our program now? Okay. Again, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the launching of the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines. I am Joyce Santiago, your host for this event. Before we start the, pro uh, the program proper, here are, some, here are some friendly reminders. Kindly turn off your audio and video during the program to lessen distraction and lagging of connection. If you have questions or comments, please reserve them at the Q&A portion of the presentation. Thank you. To formally start the event, let me first say some words of gratitude to some people behind this important event in the National Museum of the Philippines. First, let me acknowledge our board of directors headed by Mom Evangelina Lourdes Arroyo Bernas, our Director General, Mr. Jeremy Barnes, our Deputy Director General for Museums, Dr. Ana Maria Teresa Labrador, and Deputy Director General for Administration, Attorney Rosine Flores Abela. They all pushed that the old NMP website be replaced with a new one that is more updated and responsive to the needs of our general public, especially now that the formal learning in the Philippine schools has shifted to online. We also appreciate all the efforts of the website committee headed by Dr. Labrador, the representatives of the different NMP divisions who provided the updated contents and tons of information. Of course, the committee's technical working team who tirelessly worked even after office hours, just to put everything in order. We, of course, appreciate the presence of the heads of NMP divisions and regional offices. Very, very special thanks po to our media partners from the different news agencies in the Philippines. And of course, to the representatives of the different cultural agencies. Maraming maraming salamat po for accepting our invitation. Last but not the least, we are grateful to all of you who are present right now here in Zoom and YouTube. Okay, so now let's talk about the website. Uh, there are approximately 79.7 million who use the internet as of 2020, and it is expected to grow to 71% of the population by 2025. That's according to Statistica. This digital population mostly belongs to the age group of 16 years old and above in a population that the National Museum must reach to maximize its public engagement. The National Museum has been maintaining its old website, uh, uh, www.nationalmuseum.gov.ph, since November 21, 2006. Pa. While it underwent several changes and upgrades over the past 15 years, the need for a more friendly, updated and easy to navigate and accessible website has been more pronounced when COVID-19 forced us to close our doors and limited our physical interactions. Schools closed and the mode of learning shifted to digital. The population has been confined to their homes. And because the National Museum is committed to fulfill its mandate amid the closures of the physical museums, it has started to maximize the digital platforms to reach the general public. And this time, a wider audience in the World Wide Web. Today, in celebration of the Civil Service Month and the Education Week, we are proud to offer to all of you, to the public, the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines. To welcome you all, let's hear it from our Deputy Director General for Museums, Dr. Ana Maria Teresa Labrador. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Hi. Thank you, April Joy. Uh, April is actually our uh, officer in charge for the uh, communications and external affairs section no, of the office of the director general. So thank you very much for that presentation. It's uh, a good thing that you also did your re research about the uh, use of the World Wide Web. I think we forget because we take things for granted now. No? Um, so, so we're very happy that this is actually finally happened. Um, and also uh, during civil service month, we, the idea is really to um, make our staff um, learn more about each other through the, the website. Um, because sometimes I think um, we don't have that easy communication uh, because of the, uh, uh, you know, the problems with the um, um, connectivity, no? Uh, so we're also addressing that with the, our IT head, Resty Morancil. And then uh, this is also part of our uh, drive, uh, push to, for more accountability and transparency. 
so people can see what we're doing, uh, how we are actually making use of taxpayers' money through, uh, you know, through all these activities that uh, we find uh, should be relevant and meaningful. You know? um, and you know, we've, we've, generate, we've been generating all these uh, activities and we should actually translate them into content for our, our website. And finally, it's happened. Um, a lot of people uh, did this work. It's not just uh, a few people, but uh, many people contributed to this within the, um, the agency, you know, the National Museum. And also, of course, our stakeholders who have actually made us um, be more accountable to be, to be there for, to make sure that they know what we're doing. And so we're happy that um, we could finally show a, you know, kind of fresher uh, look for the museum uh, as we kind of put in our, our uh, press release, our, our um, National Museum media release um, that we have a new perspective and uh, through the new um, website. So, I won't keep you any longer. Welcome everyone. Uh, we're so glad that you are all here. Thank you for sharing in this milestone with us. We are 120 years old this year. We're celebrating a lot of milestones, including the 200th year of the National Cultural Treasure, Bahi Revolt paintings. So we have uh, a lot of things in store for everyone for the, for the last quarter and beyond. So. Please uh, stay tuned and please uh, uh, listen to all our, our, our staff who will be presenting the, um, who will walk you through the uh, website so that uh, you can kind of use them for your particular needs, whether it's uh, virtual tours that you need or you would gain, like to gain access to um, our publications uh, and also, of course, uh, our 360 virtual tours and other videos, which by the way are public domain and you can uh, access them freely. So thank you very much everyone and good morning to you. Thank you Mamada for that inspiring message. Okay, guys, I won't keep you uh, that excited, but uh, you want to know what's in store for the new website. So let me introduce to you the head of the Information, Communications, and Technology section, Mr. Resti Morancil, to guide us in the walkthrough navigation of the new website. So Resti, take it away. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Resti, and it's my pleasure to present the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines. We have prepared a short AVP to walk you through its new interface and features. Hi there, welcome to the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines. After years of planning, developing, and designing a new website that is content-driven, visually appealing, and interface-friendly, the National Museum deems it timely to launch a more compelling website to the public, which hopes to provide better access to our collections, exhibitions, and services, that is, an important consideration in this time of pandemic. Without further ado, allow us to walk you through it and present some of its salient features that are designed and presented with the intent of providing a reliable information resource site that can serve the needs and interests of our varied audience. We have simplified the layout and made the design appealing so that visitors will find it easier to search for information and be updated with the news and events happening in the museum from its central museum complex in Manila up to its various regional museums nationwide. Let's start by accessing the website using a web browser. The site is accessible in any available browsers and devices such as laptops, tablets, and mobile phones. 
Once you open your web browser, type in the website's Uniform Resource Locator or the URL www.nationalmuseum.gov.ph and you will be redirected in our homepage where the large banner sliders presents images and texts of highlighted events, announcements and featured exhibitions in the museum. On top of the main page, you will see the menus, some of which are drop-down menus that contain clickable pages. These pages are the About Us, our museums, news and events, exhibitions, collections, services, opportunities, resource center, and the menu for booking a tour. Scrolling down below the banner sliders, you will see the welcome message of the site, side by side with the government mandatory content for websites such as the Transparency Seal, Freedom of Information or FOI, and the Citizens Charter page. Just below this section, we have the preview of the latest news and events articles, showing brief introductory texts and description with corresponding images. Just click on a particular article to view and read the full write-up. One of the interesting new features of the website is the Art Museums page that presents a brief history and architectural and built heritage features of the historic buildings of the museum, including those of our regional area and site museums. This is presented with archival current photos of the structures. The section also teases you with a short description of what can be seen in the museums. For the regional, area, and site museums, a real-time map can be used to trace the location of each museum. Right next to our museum's page are the two significant sections of the website, the exhibitions and the collections pages. On these sections, visitors will be able to see the current exhibitions of the museum in each building, from central to the regional, and the different collections of the museum presented in categories with highlighted works of art, artifacts, and specimens. One unique feature that we like to highlight in the exhibitions page is the option of switching into floor plans as guide into navigating the exhibitions in each building, presented by floor level. For the collections page, you will find here a more accurate and updated information of the various collections being maintained by the research divisions of the National Museum. As you open the archaeology page, for example, you will be prompted with a brief history of the division. Just below the history, we have the featured archaeological collections. You just have to swipe through it to see all the categories. When you click on the Read More button on one of the featured collections, you will find a description and accompanying photos of the artifacts with brief information in each item. The visitors may also know more about the guidelines and processes of various museum services that we offer to the public through the services page. The application guidelines are posted in PDF format. We also have here the Opportunities page that contains bidding and job vacancies postings. Another new feature of the website is the Resource Center tab. We have attached here our digitized publications which you can download for free. Aside from that, you can also access for free the 360 virtual tours of some select galleries of the various museums. Last but not the least is the Book a Tour tab. 
it will lead you to the museum's online booking site should the public wishes to physically visit the central museums in Manila. However, for now, the reservation system is not accessible because the museum remains closed to the public following the current community quarantine restrictions. That is all for now. If you have any questions, we can accommodate you during the question and answer session. We hope you appreciate the new National Museum of the Philippines website. Thank you and mabuhay! We can't wait to finally explore everything on the website. Yeah, in lieu with the mission to provide educational information, we have enhanced our visibility online through social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We have virtual openings of new galleries, webinars, and free digitized publication. And lately, guys, we have started accommodating virtual tour visits for students who missed their museum field trips when the pandemic started. To tell us more about the guiding and reservation services, let me call Ms. Bel Pabunen, the Chief Administrative Officer of the Central Museum Visitor Operations Division. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Joy. There you have it, guys, the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines. Hi, good morning. I'm Ms. Bel Pabunen, the head of the Central Museum Visitor Operations Division. And we are responsible in providing visitor reception, information assistance, booking, guiding, and other services for enhanced visitor experience. For you to experience more and witness the different exhibitions and collections that you can only see here at the National Museum of the Philippines, we offer the, fo the following blended approach services by clicking the navigation menu, book a tour. We have guided tours with our museum guides, walk through guided tours to our historical buildings with our in-house architects under our architectural arts and build heritage division. But these are only available once we are already open to the public. But in the meantime, while we are still closed, we, you can still access our museum through our virtual guided tours, where you can also see the different exhibitions and collections to our four museum complex, the National Museum of Fine Arts, the National Museum of Anthropology, the National Museum of Natural History, and the National Planetarium, as well as the other regional museums located nationwide. You can also view our online launching of our soon to open exhibitions. Virtual guided tours can be requested for now through our official email, inquiry at nationalmuseum.gov.ph. But once we are already allowed to open to the public, you can already access us through our newly launched website. What you see right now is the 360 degree panoramic virtual tour of one of the museum galleries here in Manila. You can also watch this and other 360 degree virtual tours of selected galleries here in NMP Complex in Manila and other exhibitions in our regional muse museums nationwide by clicking the resource center menu in the NMP website. So visit the new website of the National Museum of the Philippines and start to explore and, dis and discover what's in our history. Again, please follow us on our social media pages, the Facebook, Twitter, IG, and YouTube, which will be posted later in this program. Just click, subscribe, share, and follow us for you to stay updated with our museum activities. Thank you very much. Keep safe and see you soon. Thank you, Mom Bill. Now for the museum services that the National Museum of the Philippines offers, we have with us today the MSD Chief, Ms. Rosette Kirlecha, to tell us more. Mom Rosette, good morning. Thank you, Joy. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. As you already know, the National Museum of the Philippines offers other services that support the various needs of the general public. On the services page of our website, uh, you will find the list of the services that we offer, including the guidelines, the procedure, application form or request form for these services. Um, 
while uh, these services are available, uh, we would like to inform you that the NMP strictly adheres to the issuances of the government uh, regarding such activities as photo shoot and video shoot, including location shoots, which are, are not advisable to, to, be hold, to be held at this moment. Again, on the, on the services page, instructions on how you can avail the services are provided. Generally, you just have to download the form, fill it out, uh, prepare the documentary requirements, and send it to us through email at inquiry at nationalmuseum.gov.ph. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, we are also happy to share with you that digital copies of our publications are already available in our new website. So here, Raymond is showing to you the, the available titles at the moment. Okay. More publications or digital versions of NMP publications will be available soon. So we urge you to keep uh, visiting and exploring the National Museum of the Philippines' new website. That's all for today. For any inquiries, you can always send us an email through inquiry at nationalmuseum.gov.ph. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma'am Rosette. Okay, so that's about the guiding services and all the other services provided and uh, offered by the National Museum. Now let's move on to the next part of the program, the Q&A portion. I'm sure you all have questions in mind that you want to ask about the new website. So please, guys, ready na po ba kayo? If you want to ask, kindly raise your hand so we can uh, accommodate you or and Kung pwede po, you can turn on the video so we can recognize also your face. Okay, Please state your name, your affiliation, and the person you wish to answer if you have a particular person na gustong uh, sumagot po. Thank you. So can we start now? Meron na po ba tayong mga naka-raise hand? Anyone want to, wants to ask questions, guys? Our feedback. How do you find the National Museum of the Philippines website so far? Anyone? Can we call on uh, somebody from the region? Wala pa po ba? Okay. Or you can uh, chat with us. Kung hindi po tayo maka-access ng ating uh, uh, audio, kindly chat with us. Anything you want to say, gusto niyo pong ipaabot. If you want to uh, share something, comment something, we will be very happy to accommodate you po. Or you can turn on your video. So uh, we can... Uh, also see your face. Oh, yeah. Good, good morning, Miss Hani. Hey, uh, I'm just wondering if we can still add some services to the website. Like, for example, we can um, include perhaps some of our education programs. But okay. Guys, by the way. Wow, thank you Perfect. so much. Salamat po. Okay, regards sa mga tao dyan sa Iloilo, we miss you all, guys. Yes, they also send their regards to every one of you there at the central office. Okay, so I guess for that uh, question, ma'am, uh, we will call on Sir Resti because he is the one who is uh, into developing more of the website. So, Sir Resti, can you please answer ma'am uh, Hani's question? Hi, ma'am. Uh, yes, uh, we can add uh, or update some contents from our website. Uh, just send us the uh, requirements for us to update the website. Right. Thank you. Because I'm wondering, well, we were thinking that maybe it's also good for the public to be able to access some of our educational or public I mean, educational um, materials, for instance. Um, Oh, any any educational projects that you know we have developed over the years, and perhaps we can also put it there, like 
our color sheets, everything. Um, I can um, recall um, some of our um, educational materials now, but I think we have managed to uh, have several of that already um, beginning 2020 when we started the Museum from Home program. So maybe we can put it there also so that the general public may be able to access them. Okay, so thank you so much for that. Uh, ayan, madami tayong aantayin pa ang tabayanan na just from the central. Of course, uh, we are one museum. No? We have a lot of regional museums, but we are just one national museum. So everything that you need to know, not just from the central, but also from the regional, we will have it in our website. Okay, so let me read to you some of the messages here on chat from Francine Espana. He said, uh, she said, congratulations, NMP, for this upgraded website. It looks user-friendly and easier to use, easier to access. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Francine. Another from Sir Ruel, Huang Manipon. Do the regional museums have their own websites or is it the main NMP website? Okay, so uh, uh, I, I guess I'll be the one to answer this. The regional museums, as of now, don't have their own website, but they have their own social media pages. So uh, this is the main NMP website, and uh, we have everything here. Uh, kung ano, uh, what you want to know about the regions, you can take it also here from our website. So the information is centralized here at the NMP website. Thank you, Sir Ruel, for that question. Uh, next here is I am uh, Shafinas from Department of Museums, Malaysia. Oh, hi to our friends from Malaysia. Good morning there to you guys. The new website is so interesting, according to Mom Shafinas. She said, great effort. Congratulations. Can't wait to explore. Wow, Mom, thank you. That's, uh, that makes us feel really, really good today. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. That's a Filipino term for thank you. Okay, so another one here is from uh, one of our museum guides, Mr. Louis Martinez. He said, Hi, I would like to ask if there will be an available online quiz or games in the website. Oh, I cannot answer this one. So may I call on Sir Resty? Can you please answer this one? <clears throat> for now, we can. Uh, for now, hindi pa. Since, uh, but we can add the online quiz or games sooner or later po. Okay, so it means to say we focus more. Uh, Ian, uh, may we call on Ma'am Anna? She will answer this one po. Ma'am yeah. Anna? So actually, um, those games and other quizzes, they are more appropriate in our social media pages. So, and uh, so that we can actually... Uh, make use of the um, uh, social media pages also of the regional museum. So, thank you. Thank you, Mom Anna. So, another anonymous question here. Uh, do you already accept location shoots? Uh, can we ask the MC Chief, Mom Roset, to answer this one? Hi, good morning. Anong, anong pangalan niya? Louis? Louis, not yet? Ah, oh, Anonymous. Okay, Anonymous, anonymous Sender. Po. Okay, not yet. Hindi po po available ang ating um, services para sa location shoots because uh, we're following the IATF guidelines regarding uh, holding of activities for a number of persons, yung mass gathering natin. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So yung mga gusto pong mag... Uh pre-nop shoot dyan, okay? After the pandemic na lang po muna para safe po tayong lahat. Uh, another comment here from Batanes. Hello to our friends there in Batanes. It's from Juliet. She said, congratulations, NMP, for this new website. It looks very refreshing and user-friendly. Wow. Salamat, Ma'am Juliet. Regards to everybody there. Okay, so... Another question we have here from YouTube. Oh, uh, may nakahands up. Wait lang, Ma'am Honey. Basahin ko lang po ito. Uh, Nag-offer po ba ng live gallery tours para sa mga classes? How to avail of these services? So, Ma'am Bell, this is your uh, 
question to answer. Hi there, gusto nagtanong. As of now, mga recorded visual tours, guided tours pa lang ang, ang unavailable uh, due to some uh, mga technical restrictions. So request lang po tayo ng virtual guided tours through our email inquiry at nationalmuseum.gov.ph. Thank you po. Okay, so we have here another question from our friends in Bohol. Hi, this is Audrey from the National Museum Bohol. We always receive requests for interviews, especially regarding restoration projects here in the province. So now it is convenient for us to refer them to the website services page section. Thank you, NMP. So hindi po ito question. It's actually a statement. Yeah. Okay. Salamat din po, Ma'am Aubrey. Okay, from uh, congratulations from Zoo. Okay, here we have here. Congratulations on the website. Can't wait to explore. Suraida from Singapore, Kalasia. Wow, Kalasia alumni. Yeah, we have uh, friends here uh, watching us from Singapore. Good morning to people of Singapore. Okay, so okay, so that question palakanya from YouTube from Miss Mayin. Okay, another question here from uh, Miss Bianca Francine, España. Just, just want to ask po sa ating communication team, if some of our news and featured articles posted on our social, social media pages will also be posted of our, on our website. Okay, so let me answer this one. Uh, Miss Francine, definitely po. Okay, so since we are uh, uh, holistic, no? so what you will see on Facebook sa... Uh, news and featured articles, ilalagay din po natin sa website. Uh, but sometimes, since we have uh, limitations dun po sa ating Facebook page on the number of words, no? so I think uh, we can put a link there that will lead you to the website to further read the articles. No? So, para mas madami po tayong malearn, especially po. Ngayon na, okay na po yung website natin. Okay, I hope you uh, your your question has been answered. Thank you, Ms. Francine. So, let me check kung meron pa po tayo dito additional questions. So far, wala na pong uh, questions. Uh, Ms. Honey, I saw you raising your hand. Do you have another question or information that you want to share to the public regarding your regional office in Iloilo? No. Actually, I was just reading the question from my name. I think the information from... The information about the regional museum can also be found on the website. So if anybody is interested, they can just click on that. And they can also send us messages via Facebook, but uh, the social media page. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so those who are uh, interested to contact us, want to learn more, want to ask more, we have a tab there in our website, uh, contact us. We have there the official email addresses and telephone numbers that you can call directly. Okay, so let me read another one here from Lalitha. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations, NMP. Thank you. Looking forward to exploring your new website. Best wishes from Lalitha. This is from Call Asia Manila, 2006 alumni. Wow. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So another question here from Wina. What about treasure hunting permits po? Can they access through the website? So who can answer this one, please? Uh, as of now, parang wala pa tayong nakalagay dun sa website on no, treasure hunting uh, <laughs> permits. No. Ayan, Ma'am Ana. Um, no, we, it's not with us anymore. It's with the NCCA. Uh, so they can actually contact the NCCA. That's not part of our work anymore. The um, regulatory um, work of the museum has been transferred to the NCCA because of our Republic Act 11333, that we are no longer uh, in charge of that. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Ana. So that clarifies that. So uh, there are no more questions so far. Meron pa po ba? 
okay to our uh, uh, chief administrators from different uh, regions or uh, from the different divisions meron po ba tayong gustong ipahatid sa ating public this is uh, one venue now that we can uh, share more if you have uh, may gusto po kayong i-push the event na malapit na po okay pwede po nating i-chat or pwede po natin sabihin dito on video and audio so ito pa Okay, this is for Ma'am Rosette. What library services can we access through the website? Ma'am Rosette? So, library services are also limited at this moment, but you can always send us an email if your question is about NMP publications. So maybe we can help you there. And but once we're open, just like during the pre-pandemic times, I uh, we can accommodate client our visitors who who usually go to the library after they uh, they go around the museum. So open tayo sa visitors, and then of course yung mga general clients natin inside the museum. Thank you. Okay, so since uh, parang wala naman na pong nadagdag na question, there are no more questions here on the chat box. Sa YouTube po ba, meron po ba dyan nakala... nakapost the question? Okay, so there are no more questions from our YouTube uh, site, our page. Okay, so since po we are nearing the end of our uh, program, can we request everyone to turn on their video? This will be a very short photo ops lang po for uh, documentation since we want to know who are those with us right now in Zoom. Can you turn on your video? Yan. How oh, nice to see all of you. Okay, so are we ready? Ready? Nakasmile kahit nakamas ka, kahit mata lang, okay na yun. Yun. Nice to see you guys. Okay, everybody smile. One, two, three. Another one. Smile. One, two, three. Okay, last one. Ready? One, two, three. A smile, you know. Okay, you can close your uh, uh, video na po. Salamat, salamat. Okay, wag po muna lumabas. May konti pa akong pasabog niyo sasabihin. Saglit lang po. Okay, so... Uh, uh, can we request the video, Danry? Before we end, let me share with you that the National Museum of the Philippines is celebrating its 120th year next month on the 29th day of October with the theme, Protecting and Promoting Diversity. And we want to present to you our anniversary logo. Okay, so uh, we have lots of activities and events in store for all of you guys. So please be updated through our social media pages and our website, of course. So we are looking forward, guys, to sharing with you more of the beautiful and priceless treasures of our country through our exhibitions. Your Pampansang Museo na Pilipinas will always be of service to you. Please don't forget to like and share our social media pages, which will be shown on screen. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And stay safe.
Bye-bye. Salamat po. Thank you po for joining us. We really appreciate your time and effort. Salamat from the National Museum of the Philippines. To God be the glory.